Match day six, Shabab Al Ali square off against Al Hilal, the second meeting, of course, between the two in this group. Although eliminated from the next round of competition, Shabab Al Ali will want to end the campaign on a high note and crush Al Hilal's hopes of advancing. On the other side, a win gets Al Hilal to the next round for the 12th time in their team's history as well. Not too shabby as they bounce back after a loss in their last game. Coming up with a W, another one here, again, would secure them a spot in the next round, but they were having problems in the opening 15 minutes. They controlled possession. That was a staple for them throughout this entire game. The attacking opportunities were abound as well. Just unfortunate that they could not find the goal mouth in the first half. Plenty of chances. This one probably the best from Al-Hilal in the opening 45. But as we can see, a little wide right. Too much curve on it. No can do. Shabab Al-Ali, although forced on the back foot due to those possession numbers, they were the only ones that escaped the first half with a shot on goal. You can credit the back line for creating their opportunities. Why? Because they withstood the pressure from Al-Hilal and forced the counter just like they do here. Five minutes in to the restart and an opportunity in front is brought down. Penalty is awarded. Another look at it just inside the box when the tumble takes place. Easy call for the ref to make and the result is clinical as well. A fantastic buildup from the break leads to the collision in the box, leads to the penalty and Igor Jesus nabs the first of the evening. Shabab Al-Ali with a bit of a wondrous comeback in that sense. Again, you can't stress enough the possession numbers against their favor. And on the other side, Al-Hilal could find nothing from those numbers. More shots towards the goal. Unfortunately, no shots on the goal yet. 90 minutes, and that would be the finisher. Igor with his second of the game. A massive swing in favor of Shabab Al-Ali. Not that they really need it in terms of moving on in the competition, but that is a dagger in the back of Al-Hilal as they needed those points to get anything going in the next round. More opportunities in the dying seconds. They can't factor anything in. 12 shots towards the goal, zero shots on target through 96 minutes. The bar does not count. Zero points do not count for them. Moving forward to the next round, their fates are out of their hands.